right? Everybody out there from all walks of the planet, welcome. This is the Dirt Dog International Racing Network, and we are live from the Red River Valley. I am racing I'm here for the 360 sprints presented by Ayers I Racing Paints and HRH Motorsports. And it is that time, as we have to ask you to please remove your hats so we can do our national anthem. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the Red River Valley I Racing League, ready to bring you the 360 sprints here. We have another six and a half minutes of practice left, and then we will be green flag racing here for the Red River Valley I Racing League, presented by Ayers I Racing Paints and HRH Motorsports. So sit back, relax, and get ready for the action.
right, we are going to check out the weather here for tonight at Williams Grove for the Red River Valley I Racing League. It's going to be 79 degrees with 65% humidity. And it's cloudy with 16 miles an hour wind here in Williams at Williams Grove. The half mile oval here. These guys are just finishing up their practice laps here. And we are getting ready to go 360 sprint car action here for Williams Grove. We are going to check the lineup. The starting grid for heat number one. We got Kenny Hoffman in the 01 starting on the inside for Team SSR. Kale Haybill starting outside of row number one for Team SSR. Robert Statterfield in the 55 car representing Phantom Motorsports. Starting inside row number two with Robert Charette. Represent HRH Motorsports on the outside of row number two. Michael Rutledge out of Australia in that 33 machine. And Hunter McCoy out of Carolina in the 22. We're going to have six cars here for this 360 sprint car race. At Williams Grove Speedway. Team SSR on the po our pole here. Kenny Hoffman, Kale Haybill. They're going to take the green flag behind the pace truck. Six cars, eight laps here at the Grove. The eight up top, the one down low. Hoffman Haybill. Looking to take the green flag. HRH Motorsports 64. Robert Charette right behind the 58 of Kale. Looking to take the green flag as these guys are going to bunch up and the pace truck lights are off. The pace truck getting ready to pull off. We are getting ready to take the green flag here at Williams Grove for the Red River Valley iRacing League presented by HRH Motorsports and Ayers iRacing Paints. All right. Six cars, eight laps. Green flag, Green Green flag, flag. is out. Hey, Bill Hoffman. Going to down into one and twos. Two side-by-side -side here. Working the outside, hey Bill. Trying to get around Hoff in the one. Clipping down into the tires there, it looks like. Now Statterfield moving to second position all over the backside of the 58. Shooting down low, Robert Statterfield. Statterfield, excuse me. To the inside of Cale Haymill. Team SSR to the outside. I believe Phantom Motorsports down low. Team SSR got the run on the outside, but Motorsports right behind them. Phantom Motorsports on the low side, trying to make the slide job work. Satterfield all over the back side of Haybill here, battling it out for the first fight. Robert Charette pulling up the third spot in that HRH Motorsports car in the 64. Hunter McCoy in the 22 pulling up the fourth spot here. And Kenny Hoffman fell back to the fifth position after that clip with the tires in the beginning. But Kenny, or Kale, excuse me, still out front. Satterfield still working to try to work the back side of that 58 car. Shooting down in the 
three and four of the 58 still holding it, coming out wide. Going by the flag stand, Haybill. Two laps left to go as the flag man is seven. Two laps left. Satterfield looking to find his legs to the back side of the 58 machine. Kenny, or Kale Haybill, excuse me. Still leading this thing, Robert Satterfield. Working the outside now as he was working the low side in the beginning of this race. 58 of Kale working the low side now. Coming around three or four to the flag. Stand check the flag waving. Team SSR. Taking the victory here for the Heat number one in the Red River Valley I recently. League. We are going to grid up for heat number two here now. We have Thomas Mitchell out of the Indium Sim Sports in the two car. We got Bruce Klingen, elbows up, Sim Sports in the 21. Jason Ferguson, straight out of Texas in that 129 machine. Cameron Pritchard. Starting fourth outside row number two in that 39 car. We got Casey Big Bacon Sawich in the 27 representing HRH Motorsports. And Kurt Ney starting in the sixth spot in that 74 machine straight out of Pennsylvania. And that is your starting grid. For heat number two here for the Red River Valley I Racing League, presented by HRH Motorsports, Big Bacon Media, and Ayers I Racing Paints. Here we go. Here we go. Thomas Mitchell. Bruce Klingen looking to take the green flag as they have to make one more pace lap around the track before we are going green flag action. Mitchell on the low side, Bruce Klingen on the outside. The 21, the 2. Ferguson back there in the third spot in that 129 car. Looking to take the green flag. Thomas Mitchell, Bruce Klingen. And everybody in between. That 27 seen all over the backside of the 129, and the green flag is out. Thomas Mitchell, Bruce Klingen, taking the green flag, coming down into one and two. The 21 out wide, and the two down low. Thomas Mitchell takes two and three. It's Bruce Klingen riding that outside. But look who's coming from the back. Casey, Big Bacon, Sowitz now up to the fourth spot here in that 360 sprint, throwing the slide job back there. Right in front of Mr. Kurtney and Jason Ferguson. Now poking to the inside. Casey Big Bake is solid there. To the inside of Cameron Pritchard. Right around the inside. Now moving up into the second spot. Casey looking to track down Thomas Mitchell. Riding that outside here. Thomas Mitchell still looking to hold these guys off. Casey's got Bruce clinging back here, battling with him in that 21 car. The 27, out high, able to get the run. Goes down low as he gets a little squirrely coming off a of three and four there. Going into one and two, coming out of two. Now Thomas Mitchell beating these guys. Casey still hanging on to the second spot. He looks like he looks to the inside of Bruce. Now able to pull the slider. That 27 machine throwing it down in the one and two, trying to find his legs to work to the, inside, or to the back side of Thomas Mitchell. The 21, Bruce Klingen, trying to make the inside work to the inside of 27, Mr. Big Bacon. Almost a little bit of contact here, 
side by side coming out of two. Onto the back stretch, bacon on the outside. Playing it down low, the 21 pulling the slide job, but Mr. Big Bacon on the outside with the run. Casey Salich hanging out of the second spot here, battling it out with Bruce Payne. Thomas Mitchell loving the battle but not going to fly here as he's able to walk away just a little bit further. Wanting them guys to battle it out. Casey getting a little loose coming out of two or three or four there. Coming in a one and two on the outside there. White flags waving. Thomas Mitchell still leading these guys. Casey big baby sandwich in the second spot. But Bruce Klingon. Throwing the slider, not making a stick. Casey going around the outside, able to hang down at the second spot. Bruce had Kurt Ney to the inside there as they were going by the checkered flag. Action everywhere, battling going on everywhere. What an awesome heat race that was. And here we go for heat number three as we check the grid. We got Jordan Etter from Team SSR and Brazenfer. In the number 65 machine starting on the pole. James Burke representing the Midwest in that seven machine starting on the outside. Steven Fenberg from Pennsylvania in the 029. Gregory Chandler in the number 94 starting on the outside of Mr. Fenberg. And Austin Stern tailing the field here in the 75 machine. And go over to the Facebook page and check out the Red River Valley iRacing page to keep up with your favorite drivers. And anything else you may want to keep up with Red River Valley iRacing League news. Or you may even want to try your shot here at the Red River Valley iRacing League. Who knows? Just check us out on Facebook. As we get ready to go green flag racing, the pace lights are off the truck here. As they are not blinking no more. One more time around. The 65 down low. The 70, the 7. Phew, I almost thought he was 70. 7 out high. James Burke. Team SSI down low. Jordan Etter from Team SSR. James Burke from HRH Motorsports. Looking to take the green flag. Four cars, eight laps. The 360 flag, sprint cars here for the Red River Valley. I Racing League are underway as the green flag comes out. The 65 down low, the 7 out high. Trying to hang out of the sixth spot. James Burke coming down low now. Hanging out of the middle. He's going to go to the low side and come to the outside there right in front of Mr. Steven Fenberg as he battles for the second spot with Mr. Steven Fenberg. Oh, back there, some contact with Mr. James Burke. And it looks like Gregory Chandler, but Jordan Etter able to still pull out to a nice early lead with Steven Fenberg back there trying to find his legs here in the 29 machine. Three laps down so far. Fenberg looking to find his ground. Working that sprint car to the mid tie line. Jordan Adder able to pull to a nice early lead in that 65 car. A weapon for the team necessary. And Dre's and firearms, looks like it says. Brazen firearms. I like that one. The 64, 65, still out front. 
but Fenberg finding his, his ground. He's, he's slowly working to the back side here. Team SSR going super low there. Jordan Edder still hanging on to the lead here. As Fenberg now finally up to the back side of the 65 with the 29. We're going to go inside here is the 65 ripping the outside. Jordan Adder is the 29 knocking on the back door. The 65 still trying to hold his ground here as they go by for two laps here left to go at the Grove. Two laps left to go. For heat number three. Race brought to you by HRH Motorsports. Oh, and it looked like Steven Fember made a little contact there with Jordan Edder and went right around Gregory Chandler now moving up into the second position. As Femberg went around there. Burke getting around Femberg too. Oh no. Very unfortunate for Steven. Jordan Adder still hanging on to it in that 65 car here. Coming around for the checkered flag. Team SSR winning heat number three here tonight. Congratulations, Jordan Edder, Gregory Chandler, and James Burke. All right, these guys got a little bit of a practice coming up, so we're going to let these guys do their thing. I'm going to get up and get something to drink here as my voice is needing something to drink. So stay tuned. It's only like five minutes.
Alright, let's take a peek at the weather again to see if anything's changed with the weather. 78 degrees, 66 percent humidity. It's still cloudy out. It's 16 mile an hour winds. So, not much has changed here at the Grove. And these guys are looking to finish up their warm up practice here before the feature. And we will be feature running here for the 360s with the Red River Valley iRacing League presented by HRH Motorsports, Ayers iRacing Paints, and Big Bay Media. I am your host, Jacob Keith from the Dirt Dog Internationals. And we welcome you and thank you for watching. flag stand these guys are getting ready to pit her up as we get ready to grit her up starting on the pole for the red river valley 360 sprints race tonight kale haybill in the 58 car thomas mitchell starting outside of him in the two car Jordan Etter from Team SSR as well as Kale in the 65. Starting third, Robert Statterfe Satterfield represent Phantom Motorsports in the 55. Starting fourth, Casey Big Bacon Sawich, HRH Motorsports in the 27 machine starting fifth. Gregory Chandler with Nemesis Motorsports in the 94 machine starting 6th. 7th going to be Robert Charette with HRH Motorsports in the 64 machine starting 7th. 8th, Bruce Klingen with Elbows Up Sim Sports starting 8th in the 21. Ninth being James Burke with HRH Motorsports in the seventh car. Kenny Hoffman with Team SSR in the 01. Starting 10th. Courtney starting 11th out of Pennsylvania with Steve Fernberg out of Pennsylvania as well. Hunter McCoy out of Carolina starting in the 13th spot. Um, uh, 14th, Cameron Pritchard out of Pennsylvania in the 39 car. And then Austin Stern in the 75, starting 15th. And 16th, Michael Rutledge in the 33 out of Australia. And Jason Ferguson out of Texas, tailing the field here in the 17th position. We have 17 cars ladies and gentlemen 30 laps here at the williams grove speedway kale hey bill thomas mitchell looking to take the green flag here as the pace truck is pulling off the 58 down low the two out high green flag green flag as the green flag is now flying k kale hey bill thomas mitchell taking the flag as they go into turn one and two oh, side by side kale hanging on to the front side here in the 58 robert satterfield moving up into the second position working that outside trying to get around kale satterfield working the outside the 58 down low kale battling out door to door coming out of one and two as they are still side by side gonna work it's three and four 58 still working the outside but Robert Satterfield is able to pull a line from the outside there got a couple car lengths out of now he's inside trying to make some work with that inside there time Thomas Mitchell now also working the outside trying to follow suit with Robert Satterfield here with Williams Grove Speedway Down. 
side by side action going on everywhere. Thomas hanging on to the second spot. Kale in the 58 car. Hanging on to the third. He's got some action going on behind him. Gregory Chandler and Jordan Edder. Side by side suit here. The 21 Bruce Klingon. Also trying to make that inside work here in that 21 machine. Contact with the wall. Gregory Chandler looked like. 94 machine, 21 now going around the inside there. Bruce Klingon taking him for the fifth position, working his way up into the top five with that 21 blue and yellow machine there. Back up towards the front, Kale Haybilt working, We're still hanging on to that third, and it looks like in the second spot, Thomas Mitchell all over the backside of Robert Satterfield now. As we are clean and green here, almost a third of the way through with the race. Eight laps down of 30 here at Williams Grove Speedway. For the Red River Valley iRacing Games, presented by Ayers iRacing Paints, HRH Motorsports, and Big Bacon Media. Thomas Mitchell falling off a little bit. Maybe a little bit of that commentator's curse. Statterfield finding his legs to be able to walk away from Mitchell here. We're going to go back towards the back here. Go to the eighth spot here for the number one car of Kenny Hoffman. Trying to work his way to the back side. Chandler, three wide here, coming out of three and four. Going into one, two, two wide there. On the outside, Chandler. Pritchard and Klingon. Three wide, coming out of three and four. The 21 in the middle. Caution comes out. First one of the evening here. Lap 12 of 30. That was Mr. Kurt Nade, the 74 machine on the bottom side. Looked like he got into the back side of Mr. Robert Shred and clips the tires and gets smashed into. Oh no. Very unfortunate for Mr. Kurt Nade. As that brings out our first caution lap of the night. Satterfield represent Phantom Motorsports here, taking that pole on the outside there, but he's got Thomas Mitchell right behind him from Indium Sim Sports. I hope I'm saying that right. Sorry, I'm really bad with names. Thomas Mitchell keeping that 360 on the backside of the sixth, the 55 there of Robert Statterfield. 58 Kale still holding on to the third position, represent Team SSR. Double them back up here as the pace truck lights are off. The pace truck should be pulling in and we should be green flag ripping here at the Grove for the 360 sprints presented by Ayers I Racing Paints, HRH Motorsports, Big Bacon Media, the Red River Valley I Racing League. Green flag underway. Robert Statterfield taking early to a green flag here with Thomas Mitchell working the outside right behind him in the second position here. 
Kale got the inside there. It's a camera twitcher. Double back here with Bruce Kling and battling side by side here for the fourth and fifth spot here. The 95, 94 to the outside there. Oh, some contact with Gregory Chandler. Nope, that was Chandler hanging on to the front side of the 21 here. Some contact there. Oh, looks like Pritchard or Klingen involved into that one. Oh, very unfortunate there. As we were able to see what happened. Just some bad luck, some contact. A loose car with this much horsepower. Second caution of the evening here. The 55. Phantom Motorsports still on the pole. But he's got Thomas Mitchell and Team SSR. Kale Haybill in the 58 machine right behind him sitting in the third spot. Thomas Mitchell's currently sitting second. Looks like Mr. Big Bacon. Casey Sowich pulling off the track, or waiting for the, the pack to pass him on the low side of the track there. Satterfield. Mitchell looking to take the green flag as they come by the flag stand one more time and the pace slot so will go off the truck. We will double them up one more time. Pace trucks off. The green flag is out. Robert Statterfield, Thomas Mitchell, Kale Haybill. As Kale's going to battle it out there with Gregory Chandler in the 94 as he's trying to contest for that third spot. Hanging out there. Some contact into the wall. Thomas to the outside of Mr. Kale. Kale to the inside. Falling right in suit there with Robert Statterfield. Get a little loose coming out of three and four there. Still able to hang on to the inside of Thomas, which will be battle for the second spot. Kale. And that 58 machine team SSR. As the caution flag flies again. Not what they wanted to see up front here, as they are having a close battle up front here with Kale. Statter, Satterfield and Thomas Mitchell. These guys are tail to nose and door to doors when they're going into the corners. And these guys got it going on in their 360s.
All right, we're going to double them back up again as we are getting ready to fly the green flag as we come on to the back stretch. Satterfield, Mitchell, Haybill, Pritchard now moving up into the fourth position. The 55 down low. The 0-2 to the outside here. Satterfield, Mitchell, Mitchell, I call him Mitchell, jeez. Green flag out. Satterfield jumps to a nice early lead. Thomas Mitchell coming to the high side. He's got KL Haybill to the inside. The 58 applying the pressure to the outside guy there. Thomas Mitchell as they battle side by side going into three and four. KL get a little loose there. He's got the 94. I believe that's the 94. No, he's got Pritchard to the inside. 39 here. That red and white machine. Ripping the low side here. Pritchard working for the, he's in the fourth spot, trying to go to the third. He's got, ooh, Satterfield falls to the back. Hoffman now leading in the one car. Pritchard sitting second. Chandler in third. We have a new podium switch. Looks like yellow flag though. Holy cow, I guess the yellow flag's out. Jeez, this ain't the first time that that's happened to me. This stuff has lagged on me like that before. So, no, Satterfield still should be out front, right? We got Thomas Mitchell right behind the pace truck in the 0 2 with the one car of Kenny Hoffman right behind him. So it looks like Mitchell, Hoffman, Pritchard, and then Haybill, and Chandler rounding out your top five here as we are currently under caution. We are two thirds of the way done with this race here. 10 laps left to run. Thomas Mitchell going to look to hang these guys off. Kenny Hoffman in this one car sitting in the second spot with Pritchard right behind him in the 18. Clearly not the 39 like I said earlier. One more time around as the pace truck, it was going to pull off. File restart. Thomas Mitchell on the 0 2 with the one car right behind him. Kenny Hoffman. Cameron Pritchard looking to take the green flag. And the green flag is out. Thomas Mitchell getting a nice early good jump. There's the one car. Kenny Hoffman going to work to the inside of the number. Richard right on the tail feathers of Kenny Hoffman in that 18 car with the 58 all over behind him. Kale Haybill. Oh, some contact with the wall. It looked like the 18 going around as the yellow flag comes out. Caution flag comes out for Cameron Pritchard there. As we try to find Mr. Thomas Mitchell. Kenny Hoffman moving into the second spot. Kale back into the third spot here. It looks like we got two members of Team SSR currently sitting on the podium here as we got still 10 laps left to go. 
for the Red River Valley I Racing League here at Williams Grove, presented by HRH Motorsports, Big Bacon Media, and Ayers I Racing Paints. These guys lined back up. The pace trucks lights are about to go off. We will be green flag racing one more time around. Ten laps left to go. Ten laps. The 0-2, the 1, the 58. Looking to take the green flag here as they're coming in the 3 and 4. And the green flag is going to be waving. Green, green, green. Thomas Mitchell, Kenny Hoffman, Kale Haybill battling it out. Gregory Chandler trying to hang on to the inside there. Going to the inside of Kale Haybill for the third spot. Gregory Chandler going to look to battle him side by side. The 58, the 94. Going into three of four, and look who's behind him. Mr. Jordan Adder in the 65 as he now works to the inside of the 58 to 22 laps of 30. Eight laps left remaining. Thomas Mitchell still hanging on to the lead. Got Kenny Hoffman working to the outside, forcing the 0-2 to the bottom. Thomas Mitchell makes it work as Kenny Hoffman able to try to get a run on the outside of Thomas Mitchell here for the lead, and the yellow flag comes out. Kenny Hoffman had an awesome run on the outside, but Thomas Mitchell had something for him from the bottom side. Thomas Mitchell still currently your leader as the caution flag goes away then. Mitchell Hoffman Chandler. When we get ready to go green, I believe the lights are still on the pace truck, getting these guys lined up two times around the track under pace caution. And we will be going green flag ripping here at the Williams Grove for the Red River Valley High Racing League, presented by Ayers High Racing Pants, HRH Motorsports, and Big Bacon Media. Twenty four laps of thirty down. Twenty three laps of thirty down, excuse me, seven laps left remaining. Here at Williams Grove for the three sixty sprint cars. Thomas Mitchell. Kenny Hoffman, Gregory Chandler. Pace truck is in. Thomas Mitchell taking a green flag with Kenny Hoffman in the one car all over the backside tail. Kenny Hoffman going to the outside, but Thomas Mitchell still going to hang on the inside. 
as they come out of one and two onto the back stretch. Ten Mitchell, Thomas Mitchell hanging on to the outside now. The 94 going to the inside of the one car. Kenny Hoffman. Gregory Chandler here in the 94, right behind the number one. Ripping the low side. Hoffman hanging on to second, finding his ground to the back side of Mitchell. Working the outside here. Has the run. Mitchell trying to hang on to it. Hoffman taps the wall. 26 of 30. As they go around four, five more laps left to go. One car down low. Hoffman getting a run on Mitchell, but Mitchell has an answer on the outside. Still battling side by side here for the lead. Thomas Mitchell, Kenny Hoffman. Greg Chandler throwing up the third spot here. Still side by side onto the back stretch. Going into three and four to one. Kenny Hoffman able to pull the slide job and go to the outside. But Thomas Mitchell now into the second position. Kenny Hoffman. Your new leader right in front of Thomas Mitchell. Thomas almost making a little bit of contact. It's a little loose there coming out of one and two. As Mr. Kenny Hoffman is now out front leading this 360 sprint car race presented by Ayers I Racing, Paints, HRH Motorsports, and Big Bacon Media. Two laps left to go. The flag man signaling for two to go. Hoffman, Mitchell, Chandler, the top three. Coming around to the flag, stand out with the white flag is waving for Kenny Hoffman, Thomas Mitchell, and Gregory Chandler. Coming around three and four for the checker flag, Kenny Hoffman. Thomas Mitchell currently second, or finishing second. Gregory Chandler finishing in the third spot. What an awesome race here for the 360 Sprint Cars here with the Red River Valley High Racing League. Awesome, awesome race. Kenny Hoffman, congratulations on your victory. Thomas Mitchell on the second, and Gregory Chandler on the third. We're going to try to pull these guys up to the booth. So bear with us for a second as we get these guys ready for an interview. All right, Mr. Uh, Gregory Chandler, do you read me? Take it, Keith. I got you, big buddy. All right, man. Hey, that 94 car was hooking up for you towards the end. You were ripping the mid to low line there, coming out of the corners, ripping out the outside. You did awesome hanging on to the third spot here. Go <laughs> run us through what was going through your mind there with the last five laps of that race. Ah, uh, look, it's um, 
Williams Grove is always fun, especially when it gets slick. So um, I was uh, just trying to heat off. I didn't want to cause any too big wrecks and stuff. I usually stand on it myself. So I was following some boys and trying to follow some lines. And here at um, Fro- Frog Leap Racing Team and Nemesis Motorsport, I've got me set up with a good car. So, um, yeah, it was just definitely well worth sitting back and consolidating, I think, instead of trying to overdrive. Well, nonetheless, you did great here getting up to the podium, finishing in the third spot. Is there anybody you want to thank for putting that car in the podium tonight? Yeah, man. Um, AJ Insurance Services, Sydney Computers, The Little Mix Transport, Black Wolf Graphics, Precision Sim Training, Sideways Photography, and good old BB7 Setups. Those things have been on rails lately. Um, my mate, Tommy Mitchell, um, as much as he's been a good competitor and and me challenge to beat this season. He's given me a few pointers here, there, and everywhere. So um, big heads up to him. Thanks to you guys for putting on a good season. Um, it's good to be back up here on the podium. It's been a while. Well, it, it has. Uh, I'm, I'm new to it. I ain't seen you in my booth yet. But nonetheless, you did great, and I hope to see you again here. Congratulations, Mr. Gregory Chandler, on your podium here tonight. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. I'll catch you guys next week. Yep, and take it easy. Cheers, buds. All right, now we are going to try to pull up Mr. Thomas Mitchell. Thomas Mitchell. Here we go, Mr. Thomas Mitchell in the booth. Do you have a copy? I've read a copy, mate. All right, man. You did awesome hanging on to the second spot. You let a lot of that raise all. Towards the end, you read a, let a lot of them laps in the end there, and then the car, it looked like it just started falling off for you. Can you give us a rundown of what was going on within the last few laps of what was happening? I got into uh, some contact before. I, I kind of hit the wall by myself uh, going down the back straight away. There was a gap in the wall, and kind of hit that on like really early on, like on lap nine or something, which then I believe threw the front end out. And then I... Uh, did that little mistake by myself, uh, going for the lead, and rose up and put myself in the wall, which then knocked the, the rear out of it. And so then basically after that, it didn't drive right. So it was uh, a bit lumpy and a bit offsided, but uh, we still managed to try and take the humbled uh, car back to the podium. We managed to do that. Yeah, not to discredit Mr. Uh, Robert Statterfield, Satterfield or anything. He he was the one that actually led a lot of that race, and you were right there with him on the backside of that 55 car from Phantom Motorsports. Um, is there anybody you'd like to thank tonight or, for putting that car in the second spot here on the podium? I just want to thank all the viewers, uh, the broadcast, uh, the admins, I'm um, just going to thank all the guys from already in Sinsport for making it happen. Just got to thank all the sponsors in Silent Lane Productions, Scorpion Raceway, Sim Black, Seven Stub Designs, Heating Motorsport, Short Shoes, Sim Racing Magazine, Sim Shed Broadcasting, Nathan Clark Motorsport, and Rando Design. Well, congratulations, Mr. Thomas Mitchell, as you were so close to having that lead, but Mr. Kenny Hoffman was just able to pick up the outside grip there on you. Um, congratulations here again on your second place, and hopefully we see you again in the booth again sometime. Hope so. Hopefully too, mate. Take it easy. It's there. All right, we will try to pull up now. Tonight's winner, able to pull it off around the outside of Mr. Thomas Mitchell, Mr. Kenny Hoffman. Mr. Hoffman, do you have a read in the booth, mate? Yeah, I got you. All right, man. <clears throat> you had an awesome run on the outside there them last couple laps. Can you give us a rundown of what was going through your mind within them last few laps? Uh, yeah, the track was just real weird how it played out. I'm not, I just saw all the grip was up top, so I was really committed to running up there over in three and four, and one and two was a little sketch. I didn't really run it too perfectly, but I was still able to power around and all that. I just knew I had to keep my momentum up, especially at the Grove, how it is up top. Yeah, Mitchell ended up going to the low side, and you ended up sticking to the high side there, and it ended up paying off for you tonight. Is there anybody you want to thank for putting that thing in victory lane here tonight with the Red River Valley iRacing League? 
Uh, I just thank everyone over at Team SSR and how much they support me and all that stuff. I have a great group of guys behind my back. Uh, Jeremy Weigel, Jordan Edder, Kale Heibolt, uh, Bruce Klingen, uh, and there's many more guys that support me. So I, I appreciate everything they've done for me. Well, thanks, man. That was awesome racing here. Congratulations again here tonight on your victory here with the Red River Valley I Racing League. And we hope to see you in the booth again sometime. Yeah, hopefully I can. All right, sir. Take it easy. Yep. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was the Red River Valley I Racing League's 360 sprint cars running here at the Williams Grove. And I have had a blast broadcasting you this race tonight congratulations to everybody that finished within the podium tonight kenny hoffman thomas mitchell let's pull up the, the uh, results here kenny hoffman finishing first thomas mitchell in the second spot gregory chandler finishing third bruce Klingon finishing in the fourth spot kale haybilt Finishing in the fifth spot, Jordan Etter in sixth, seventh being Michael Rutledge, eighth being Robert Satterfield, ninth being Stephen Fernberg, and tenth being Casey Big Bacon Sowich. And as always, I have been your host, ladies and gentlemen, and we thank you here at the Dirt Dogs for liking and sharing and following, and we hope that we bring enough entertainment for all of you out there. So until next time, 